What's happening, Lake Tahoe? Finish your day off with me each and every evening for the Tahoe Tonight Show. That's right, I'll put you to bed. 5, 8, and 11 o'clock every night. I might put you to bed, but our guests won't, especially this week's show. And I mean, if, if you come from out of the area, you you have to be educated on it. People have no concept of what's really going on in the lake. So let's kind of give people that big picture and, and, and what TRPA is doing to, to eradicate the problem. Sure. Uh, we've had an invasive species for a few years in Lake Tahoe, uh, Eurasian water milfoil and curly leaf pondweed. But quagga mussels is something that's uh, been on our minds for about 10 years now. Uh, and we do a pretty robust boat inspection program to keep those out. And we've been really successful to date. Uh, this is our 11th season doing these inspections. It includes lots of education, telling people to arrive clean, drain, and dry to keep those uh, things off their boats before they come in the water. And our inspectors will do a thorough inspection and maybe a decontamination of only hot water, uh, no chemicals, and uh, you're off to go yeah. and have uh, fun on the lake. Well, Chris and I were talking during the commercial break, and it sounds like, like one of the big issues is, is what's going on in the Keys and then the issue of trying to at least contain it for now and, and deal with that. Yeah, so the Keys, uh, lots of waterways and channels that connect to the lake, all filled with Eurasian water milfoil and curly leaf pondweed, uh, but the Keys property owners have done a really good job of trying to contain that. Uh, they have what's called a boat backup station, and so the idea is um, to have your boat kind of go through this like buoy marked channel that they've put in, go through, back it up, let all the weeds blow off the prop. And the idea of backing it up is that you're 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 just turning yeah, the pop, knocking it off the back of the right, boat, okay. and kind of releasing any of those fragments that you may have picked up. And and, and, and then there's the bubble curtain. Yeah, right. Ah, and, and the point being to to keep we've got it in the keys, but keeping it out of the lake, right? From going further out. Correct. Right. Yep. Right. And there, there's a big problem. Even this week, the Colorado Department of Wildlife uh, put out a press release about boat inspections there. Uh, the biggest number that they've seen in years. They've intercepted more than 50 boats already uh, with clams, with invasive clams that they've been able to stop from getting into waters in Colorado. And most of those are coming from uh, New Mexico and, and Arizona and Lake Powell. Uh -huh. But when you see the damage they can do and you see some of the pictures, you understand uh, the intent on trying to keep them out of Lake Tahoe's waters. Cool. Exactly. So what's the message to the public? I mean, aside from those, those uh, uh, issues of mitigation there in the Keys and that sort of thing, what's the next step? Uh, the next step, we're going through a, a process right now to find solutions to to try to test something to find a solution, actually. It's such a big problem for us in the Keys. Uh, there's a lot of different opinions and views on what should be done. Aquatic herbicides is on the table. Uh, that's Chlorine's out of the question? Uh, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, clean your pool a little bit. But, um... I don't know. That's why I talk to the experts. Yeah, so. Uh, but there's other ideas on the table, too. And so uh, there's a website, uh, tahokeysweeds.org. Uh, you can find information on what's being proposed for solutions, uh, for test solutions, and we're in a comment period right now, so we're looking for input from the public to help us find what the Looking for that one mad scientist Gosh, out there that says, oh, I have the idea. I told my boss if I found a magic lamp, I'd dedicate one of my wishes <laughs> they to are right on. solving the weed problem. And coming up next Tuesday night on the North Shore at the Lake Tahoe yep. Event Center, there's going to be a scoping meeting where Dennis yep. and a bunch of the other experts from uh, Lahontan Regional Water Quality Quality Control Board from the Tahoe Keys Property Owners Association will make a presentation. If you're interested at all in the weeds problem, it's a great presentation that shows you how bad the problem has gotten in the Tahoe Keys yeah. and the importance of keeping those uh, those breakouts contained and not letting them spread across the lake. Right. And, and then one last question, is there another lake, another area where we've seen the same kind of invasive species and been able to, to, to eradicate it, take care of it? Is there another like example for us out there to look at another model for weeds like raising water milfoil and yeah. things like that yeah there's lots of examples of uh places that have had success. Maybe not to the same size of scale right. that we're dealing with, right. but this is Lake Tahoe. We're going to find the right solution for sure. And that's one thing I don't think, you know, people know where the Keys are, but if you haven't spent a lot of time in the Tahoe Keys, it's 172 acres of waterways yeah. through there. 172 and acres, yeah. 172, which is a lot, 
and as Dennis was saying, you know, by the end of the summer, there's a vast majority of that which has weeds yep. in yeah. there. And then when it dies off some in the in the winter, or it goes dormant. It, it go it goes dormant. Dormant. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, yep. got a lot of education out there. TRPA's got it on their website. If you want to educate yourself, yep. but otherwise, can't put watercraft yep. in the lake without it being inspected. Yep. Clean, drain, dry. There you go. TRPA. We'll take a break and come back with your seven-day lake tile forecast.